Hi guys, it's Juan again, and I'm going to show you what I've been working on in the last couple of days. Um, I've been working on the panel of the rig. Well, in the previous version of the panel, we had all these tabs that we had to expand in order to see the sliders, and then we had to read what the sliders were all about, you know? And maybe that wasn't too straightforward. So I created this new panel that kind of arranges all the, the information in a synoptic panel. So with this new work, I kind of condensed all the previous tabs in just one tab where you can see all the info. So we have the layers tab and then we have the synoptic panel. So from here, you can select all the different controllers of the armature. And the good thing is that it changes its layout depending on the type of character. So here we have a biped character. And if we select the quadruped character, you can see that the layout changes, you know, as the quadruped doesn't have fingers and it has um, one more joint in the legs and in the arms. So, well, I know this may look kind of scary and fancy at the same time, but, but well, now you have all the sliders, the different sliders that we had in the in the previous panel, you know, the IKFK sliders, the hinge and tomb sliders, they are all now condensed in this one synoptic panel and each slider is just at the side of the corresponding body part. So here you have the arm the arm sliders, the FKK hinge and stretchy IK sliders, the other one for the for the right arm and then for the hand, for the legs. Well, it's kind of more straightforward and I think that it's more user friendly. Um, another good option is that if you consider this is kind of messy, you can always hide all the sliders and you have just a synoptic panel without the slider. So once you have set all the sliders to their corresponding position, well, you can just hide them. So, before I come to the selection part, here I will have the face synoptic panel that I haven't done it yet. Um, well, then we have the rigging and the muscle system. These are just technical tabs for, for, for riggers. Um, well, the muscle system also has the deformation extras thing that I talked about in the other video. Um, and we have the extra properties tab, uh, which currently has kind of two uses. Um, first, if you select a bone, the rotation mode will appear. So you can change from this ladder, the rotation mode. And another thing is that we have the custom properties title here. And this is kind of cool because sometimes um, you have to place custom properties in places that are not like generic so um, it's kind of difficult for the animator to know where those custom properties are. In this tab when you select a bone that has a custom property it will appear here and for example um, you see that the poles have a custom property called follow torso so if you turn it off the pole won't follow the torso the same with the poles of the knees and for instance also i don't know the the eyes have a fleshy eye property for example that kind of makes the eyes organic and you can if you increase it you kind of get <laughs> more deformation there when the eyes rotate and the other good thing is this all button with this button you can see all the custom properties that the rig has. So if you don't know where the custom property is, you can click on this button and you can look for every custom property that the rig has. So well, for instance, another custom property in Frank, we had a custom property for the hinge of the ears. So well, from here you can enable the IKFK snapping property. So if you select a body part, for example, the hands, or the torso, if with this enabled, you will be able to see the, the corresponding buttons. Or you can click on the all button and all the different snapping operators will appear. And well, so about selecting the controllers. Well, all the yellow controllers are the tune controllers. So you can select 
all this from here and well the big buttons are just the main controllers then we have this kind of black circle that are the poles and then you have these rotation icons that are for for the palm band in the hand or for the foot roll on the feet well so you can select from here every single controller of the rig and the good thing is that this gives you the chance of controlling the rig without having to actually see the rig so you can set the display to only render and we can kind of control the rig without seeing the actual controllers another feature that these buttons have is that if you press shift or control you kind of add the controller to the selection so if I select the hand and I press shift or control and I select the other hand both controllers will be selected so you can add controllers to your selection and add keyframes if you need and finally we have um, another feature well here we had the model resolution you can change the model resolution from here and also we have here this button called zoom to select it so you can you can kind of zoom in to the controller you are manipulating and if you press shift or control it will zoom out so well this was kind of my work for the last couple of days so well I hope you like it and see you